Let's do some examples. Let's say we have a camera with a focal length of 5 millimeters. We are going to be looking at a scene point that is at 1 meter x, 2 meters in y, 5 meters in z. So those are with respect to the camera's coordinate system. So we want to know where is that point projected onto the image plane in millimeters. Okay, and let's say that we also know that the image plane is 10 millimeters by 10 millimeters. Yeah. Okay, so here's our image plane. Um, recall that the origin's in the middle, x points to the right, y points down. Um, and let's say this is where our point is projecting to. So using those, the equations for perspective projection, namely that x is equal to f, that's focal length, times x over z, we get a uh, focal length of um, 5 millimeters. The x coordinate of that point was 1 meter, y, the z coordinate was 5 meters, so that gives us a image um, plane location of 1 millimeter. Doing the same thing for y, we get an image plane location of 2 millimeters. That's again with respect to this origin here. Okay, what if, what about finding the field of view? Let's take the, um, the largest angle that we can look at here, which is um, when the ray, you know, hitting the edge of the image plane, which is of size 10 millimeters. Here's our focal length of 5 millimeters, right? So that means that this angle here, theta over 2, is this distance 5 divided by the focal length 5. Uh, arctangent of that is uh, 45 degrees. So that's just half the angle. So we want the whole angle, which would be 90 degrees. So we get a 90 degree field of view in the x direction and also in the y direction. Okay, how about it's, if we want to observe a building, let's say, that's 100, 100 meters wide, how far away do we have to be so that it fills the field of view? So half the width is 50 meters. Here's our focal length, 45 degrees. So again, calculating, um, solving for this distance now to the building, it's tangent of 45 is w over 2 divided by z, 50 over z, so z is 50 meters. Okay, so we've been looking at the image plane, basically the CCD plane of the camera, with the origin in the middle and you know x right and y pointing down, units probably in millimeters. But when we digitize that, it goes into an image buffer in the computer, which is this array of numbers. So these are discrete elements here, uh, numbered uh, in integers. So the indices uh, typically start in the upper left corner. So in MATLAB, the top left corner is index 1, 1. Um, in C, it might be 0, 0, but we're going to be using 1, 1 in this course. So you can call these indices um, X sub IM, so image, and Y sub IM for, you know, for image coordinates in the Y direction. Um, so the center is no longer, well, the center is, is the optical center is down here, but it's not at 0, 0. It's at some value CX, CY. Um, also, in MATLAB and, and other uh, C, um, arrays are stored in row-column order. So the row is actually corresponds to the y direction, and the column corresponds to the x direction. So this would kind of show the distinction between the image plane shown here and the image buffer shown here. So this would be the continuous image being projected onto the image plane, and this would be the actual values in the image buffer. So to convert between the image plane and pixel plane coordinates, um, we simply have to do the following. So 
if we know the center is at CX, CY, um, those are the coordinates of the image center in the image uh, buffer. We also know that the spacing of pixels is SX, SY in millimeters. So this is basically the size of a pixel in millimeters. So if we have a uh, image index, image plane, image buffer index, we subtract off the uh, center CX, CY, and we multiply by the distance SX or SY. So that would give us the image plane coordinates in millimeters um, XY. Or conversely, if we had the image plane coordinates XY, we could divide by SX, SY, and add in that offset to the center, and that would give us the image uh, buffer coordinates XM and YM.